Um, hello. I'm going to talk today about a classic optimization problem. Uh, this uh, ends up in uh, virtually every calculus textbook the world over, I think. Um, but the notion here is there's a curve. In this case, it's a downward opening parabola. And uh, we're going to slide along the x-axis wherever we want to. And once we pick a, a place to spot, a place to stop, um, then we follow that point up to the curve and then follow to the left all the way till it intersects the curve again and then down, which forms a rectangle. Now we can make that rectangle by stopping here, then we get a uh, wide, short rectangle, or we could pick the rectangle by stopping here, we get a tall, um, narrow rectangle. Somewhere there has to be a spot where I'm going to get the largest possible area. And that's what it says right here, we need to find the maximum area. Where should A be put? So that's what I'm trying to find. It's important uh, with these kinds of problems to understand that the dimensions of a rectangle are going to be given to us in general terms by the values of the functions and the inputs themselves. So in other words, um, we can find the coordinates of this point because if x happens to be the number a, which I don't know what it is, then the y value will be 4 minus x squared, in this case 4 minus a squared. So the coordinates at this point are a, 4 minus a squared, which is going to produce a rectangle that's... 4 minus a squared tall, and then the width of the rectangle is going to be formed by a in this direction and an additional a in the opposite direction for a grand total of 2a. Oops. So in other words, uh, now that I have the height in terms of the function under the curve and the width in terms of the input of that function, I can express the area of this rectangle as base times height, which is 2a times 4 minus a squared giving us a cubic equation, which is super easy to differentiate, even easier to set equal to zero, and we get plus or minus two square root of three. So we'll have the um, optimal area if we went two over square root of three to the right or to the left. You can see the symmetry here is why we have the two solutions. Anyway, um, if we put the vertex A at the point two over square root of three zero, that confirms then that we are going to have the largest possible area at 6.16 approximately square units. Uh, just to see if this works, I programmed a Desmos. Um, I can move this slider and it's going to change where the vertex A is and it's going to spit out the area of the rectangle that results as well. So I put in my answer for A and got the area exactly as I said it would be. So thanks for watching.